Hello, Tennis Anyone coaches. Coach Bill here. I'd like to talk with you guys about the Pee Wee Tennis Class, ages three to six. As you know, this can be a challenging group to work with, but I'm gonna give you a little bit to go on that will go a long way. Step one, always, always, in a Pee Wee class, always use the colored spots. I'm gonna set one out right here right now we've got a, co uh, a couple others that are out right now ellie's standing on one right now ellie say hello hi <laughs> and we've got a green spot right there so i've got three spots for three students always use colored spots for the peewee group here's the second thing inevitably the kids are standing around and they're kind of swinging the racket and somebody gets hit bear hug the racket so ellie i'm going to teach you how to bear hug the racket super easy just give it a give it a nice hug awesome so this is bear hugging the racket I'll also do this sometimes in a beginning group if I see the kids swinging. By intermediate to advanced, they know better. But in this group in particular, someone always gets hit if I don't have them bear hug the racket. So that is the second thing I wanted to talk about. The third thing I wanted to talk about is going to be how to swing the racket on a forehand or backhand. We all know that on the forehand, the kids are taking the full loop. On the backhand, they're starting up nice and high. But a lot of coaches make the mistake of trying to teach peewees that full stroke and it just doesn't work. So we're gonna do what I call tap backhands. So Ellie, go ahead and stand on the line, the service line with your feet, and I want you to tap the racket to the, the blue spot. We're gonna do a backhand. All right, so face me. Perfect. Awesome, two hands. So she's got the racket tapped to the blue. I'm gonna drop and she's gonna swing and take her back in. Fantastic. Let's do it again. Tap it. Good, tap and hold. Fantastic. Okay, we'll do one more. Doing these tap backhands. Fantastic. Okay, wonderful. And so when the kids at this age are learning the backhand and they're learning the forehand, I always teach an abbreviated stroke. Don't make the mistake of having them learn the full stroke at this age. It's, it's too complicated for them. Here is one of the number one biggest mistakes that coaches make in the Pee Wee class. They'll be doing a drill and they'll have the kids get into a single file line. We know how a single file line works. Ellie hits and then she goes to the end of the line and then Susie comes in. Susie hits, she goes to the end of the line and then Brittany comes in. It sounds easy, but in a peewee class, it does not work. Trying to coordinate those kids and move them along, you end up burning up a lot of time and inevitably somebody ends up tripping over somebody else. So here's what you do in a peewee class. You set up your cones, I'm sorry, your spots. We got three of them out here. You have three players. You could have more just by having more spots. And we're gonna be doing backhands. So go ahead and tap that Go ahead and tap that uh, racket to the spot. And I'm gonna come to the students. So it's really, really simple. The way that I do this is I just walk up, drop a ball, good hit. I go to the next player, good hit. I go to the next player, Miss Invisible right here. Great hit, Miss Invisible. And then I come back to the front and there is no line that the kids are having to work through, no single file line at all. Okay, so really, really crucial, no single file lines. Picking up the tennis balls, we're gonna demonstrate how the beginners do it. Bia, you'll demonstrate how the beginners do it. Ellie, you're gonna demonstrate how the peewees do the ball pickup. So go ahead and start picking up. Ellie, you'll set your racket down and you'll pick them up with your hands. All right, so no racket for the peewees during ball pickup. So Ellie's just gonna come around and she's gonna pick them up with her hands. She'll drop them in the basket. Good, that's good. Go ahead and drop them in the basket. She's quick, she's quick, folks, she's quick. Good, good, good. And Bia, on the other hand, in the beginning or the intermediate to advanced group, she's gonna put them on their racket. But in the peewee group, make sure that once the drill ends, the kids do not have their rackets in hand because again, they're swinging their rackets, someone's gonna get injured. They don't really quite have the ability to be able to balance those balls on the racket anyway. And let's just wrap this video up. Let's put those five things, those five steps, those five items into use right away with the Pee Wee group, guys. You're gonna have a much better group out there. Awesome, keep up the great work.